Yo, this is R the Architect with More Than a Haircut Podcast. Man, I know it's been a minute. I just wanted to drop a few gems. Some things to think about, some things that I've been thinking about personally that I either uh, have discussed with my OGs or just in general, just with people in general. So one of the topics that my OG and I, El Hakim, he always, you know, just laced me with some real thoughts and real game. He said, uh... I think I said iron, iron sharp as iron, and 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 I, you know, I, I would always hear this, and I'm just like, he's, you know, he he brought up the the point that the only thing that can sharpen iron is stone. So you know, it made me think like, iron can't really sharpen iron. Iron gonna dull each other out. So you know, in that sense, I'm I'm thankful for. My OGs on the on the on the standpoint of me being in the space, mind space, head space, just to be able to 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 share some of the wisdom that I've gained from them, the knowledge that I've been able to go forward with, and just the just the different opportunities that they presented to me to be able to think really. Cause in a while I think it's gonna be illegal to think. You know, that's that's pretty much the first point. The second one is uh another one by El Hakim. We were discussing the the aspect of hip hop, and you know he brought he brought some val- some valid points up. He was just like, I don't know if you ever thought about this right here. The seeds of destruction are deeply rooted and planted in hip hop, and you know again the conversation for me was like you know like, man why the why the hell you say that, and he. He brought up some points, like, look at what's going on. Look at how the music has been hijacked. That was just one thing. The other thing was, you know, we could we could look at and we can analyze other other music genres. One one being country. How is it that the so-called white people they listen to music? They on some Willie Nelson, you know what I'm saying? They look up to him. They can go sit down at his feet. And they can get game, they can get knowledge, they can get all kinds of information from them. They even buy his records and buy his albums. Even though that, you know, even though he about like what, 98, 88, something, 78, something like that. But here it is. Let LL Cool J, KRS One, <clears throat> Rakim, you know, somebody come out with a with an album. The youngest now, you know, looking forward to buying it. And I'm not saying that they have to. But it's kind of strange to me that hip hop has a mind frame as, as such. I, you know, really don't care how, how people see it or take it. It's just just analyzation and seeing what, you know, how it look. That's just, you know, from me to you. I'm thankful to be able to even even have an aspect of thinking as such because again, thinking assume be illegal. Whether you like it, whether you see it, whether you, whether you think about it or not, like that's that's the process that's going on. I appreciate you know feedback. I appreciate you know everybody tuning in that has been tuning in to the podcast as well as supporting me in the barbershop. Come by and get a haircut whenever you're in town. If you're not in town, if you're in the city of Atlanta, holla at me. I can take care. Of you. Um. Thinking about my third point. Mm, my pops. You know, a big shout out to my pops. You know, say the best for last. Uh, my pops always told me, you know, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So I remember, um, I remember, you know, some of my struggles you know, was going through through a, a time in, in uh, college. Got put out of college or whatever. And uh, my pops wound up giving me this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Man, I ain't know why. But he, he put, you know what I'm saying, he put the book in my hand and the rest is history. But it was so much knowledge and wisdom that he gave me. And it's just more or less, I'm thankful that he was able to put a book in my hand and being able to, you know, talk to me and encourage me even through, you know, the situation that was at hand. 
So, you know, I just say, you know, like, fathers are, are necessary and needed today. I'm not going to say more than ever, but they've always been important. I just want to say thank you on, you know, on camera. Like, thanks, thanks for encouraging me always, and thanks for supporting. And thanks for being a, a father, not just to me, but some of my homies, you know. A lot of my homies will tell me, like, man, your pops encouraged me to do and be as great as I am. So, hey, man, that's a salute to all the OGs, you know. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. Peace.